just today, Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord was released exactly 10 years after Warband. So of course, being a huge fan of Warband, as soon as I had time, I rushed to purchase the game, download it, and dive in. I spent enough time playing to form an opinion of the game, and I'm here to inform. Nothing more, and nothing less. Whether it's worth a buy depends on a couple of things, and I'll get to those, I promise. I'll keep things relatively spoiler free, but truth be told, there's not a lot to spoil. As I said, I'm a big fan of Mountain Blade, I streamed my first impressions on Twitch, and... Well, I was... excited. Yes! Yes! It's here! My body is ready! Bannerlord, descend upon me with thine grace! Descend upon me with thine love! I am ready! I went in completely blind. I hadn't watched any promotional material or trailers, I didn't even read any reviews. I wanted to know nothing and was immediately met with a surge of nostalgia as I was taken through a familiar but polished introduction. I chose a region to hail from, I created my character, and I selected my various backstory points which decide your starting skills. It really felt like a more polished warband and I was ecstatic. I had been waiting years for this game and the familiarity was welcome. The mechanics had been redone slightly and wrapped in a nice new bow, but were largely the same. But about here is where I started to lose my excitement. The introduction was familiar. The starting tutorial felt familiar. The world map felt familiar as, well, it's largely the same map. It didn't take long for me to fall into a similar gameplay loop as what I'd expect in any playthrough of Warband after the tutorial. Recruit some villagers, chase after some low-level looters, kill them, sell the loot, level up the party, and your character rinse and repeat. In case you haven't guessed it yet, so far my opinion can be mostly summed up by one particular Steam review which starts as follows. Fantastic game so far. Feels like a very well-polished version of Warband. But this isn't just a carbon copy of Warband with updated graphics. Even if it was, that still might not be the worst thing. Warband was a great game despite its many faults, hence my excitement for Bannerlord. But after such a long wait, I think I expected something more? Warband captivated its players in a specific way that not a lot of games can claim to do. And when I first discovered it, I dove in and didn't come up for air for quite a while. So I was expecting to experience something similar with Bannerlord, which I didn't. I will say, there are a few new mechanics and interesting details that I have yet to explore as deeply as I'd like to. For instance, the starting quest actually holds a pretty interesting story. It's one of a strange artifact that seems like junk upon first glance but apparently is incredibly valuable. Knowing this, and nothing more, you set out to speak to those in power and figure out why this artifact is so valuable without ever telling them that you have it. Which is cool, but that little story doesn't add a whole lot to the game to differentiate it from its predecessor. Character building has been freshened up, uh, the way you spec your character and grow your skills at first glance seems remarkably different. There's a whole system of attributes and learning caps and perks, but these are mostly small changes to the Warband model in my opinion with a fresh coat of paint to top it off. There is also an entirely new smithing mechanic, which involves smelting materials and using those to create entirely new pieces with your character's smithing skill, uh, but I only scratched the surface of smithing. It doesn't seem like something you can get too into early game, and frankly, at first glance, it's kind of intimidating, especially since the game so far has given me no tutorial or explanation of it. Now, this is forgivable because the game is in early access, but there are a few funny bugs and mishaps to be observed immediately. Uh, for instance, clipping through your character's face in first person. Teeth! Oh god, my teeth! Oh my- oh, okay. And also just a comical amount of clipping with your weapons and armor and clothing and everything on your character, especially when viewed in the third person. And there was one more issue that I ran into where, while not game-breaking by any means, it is a little more severe. When selecting the upgrades in your character menu, you would typically hit done when you finish. If you don't, the game will prompt you to apply the upgrades before leaving the page. If you do so, you'll only discover later that the upgrades for whatever reason did not in fact apply. So there is still some work to be done. And again, none of these are in any way game breaking. Immersion breaking, maybe, but all forgivable. To be fair, the game is labeled as early access. I'm sure many of these things will be fixed with time, as though in the early access blurb on Steam it is specified that the game may or may not change further. 
there has already been a hotfix for a few issues that caused crashing. Personally, I didn't experience any crashing or significant issues with the game on my mid-tier computer, with all settings on high or very high, in the time that I got to play it today. It really is so far a fairly well-polished game, and it's a fun game. But here's where we get to the real point of this video. Is it worth buying? As I said before, that depends on a couple of things, and it depends on your past experiences with the series. What I mean is, if you've never played any Mountain Blade title, yes. Yes, this game is very much worth your time, especially at a price point of $44.99, as it will be until April 13th, when the 10% release discount will end. For the many people who have played Mountain Blade Warband, or honestly any installment in this series however, the answer is a little more complicated. It is worth mentioning, if you own any previous Mountain Blade title on Steam, according to the store page, you can get an additional 10% off of Bannerlord, making it an even better deal, so keep that in mind. But to those people I'd say this, if you would love a polished Mountain Blade Warband, as we all dreamed of back in the day, look no further, you will love Bannerlord. It is a remastered Warband with a few extra bells and whistles, you'll enjoy it. But if you're like me and you go in expecting something that will knock your socks off in the same way that Warband did, you're going to be a little disappointed. Bannerlord is not revolutionary. It is not some masterfully crafted spiritual successor of Warband. It is essentially Warband 2, with perhaps a few really well done DLCs added in. Now, thus far, I have been very critical of this game. I've kind of been putting it on blast, let's be honest, but I want to be clear. I enjoy Bannerlord. It has scratched an itch I've been waiting so long to have scratched, but that's just a thing. I, like many others, have waited so long for this game, and as such, I had very high expectations. And while those expectations weren't quite met, I, as a fan of the series, in general do not regret purchasing this game. It is a good game at its core, it's just not what I feel a lot of people might have been hoping for, myself included. Now, it might sound like quite the bold claim for me to say that there are probably a lot of people that are going to be disappointed by this release, but you see, there's a very interesting thing happening in the Steam reviews right now. 86% of the nearly 9,000 reviews already posted on Steam at the time of this recording are very positive. While Bannerlord is a highly anticipated release, 9,000 reviews on day one sounds like a lot of people who claim to have a fully formed opinion already. I would suspect that a lot of those positive reviews are coming from hardcore fans of the series, just happy to finally see the next installment released, as most of the people posting reviews right now have only played the game for 2-5 to five hours, a lot of them even less. While this doesn't necessarily discredit all of the very positive reviews, there is another interesting thing happening. A lot of the most popular positive reviews are saying the exact same thing as the most popular negative reviews, which is that Bannerlord is like a very polished warband. So maybe I'm in the minority with my disappointment. If so, I can accept that. But this is only day one. Time will tell. Perhaps this is exactly what everyone wants and I'm crazy. I'll certainly be keeping an eye on the reviews to see where things go. Once the Metacritic score comes out, perhaps we'll see a divide between Bannerlord's meta score and user score. Perhaps not. But I strongly suspect I am far from the only one that will hold this opinion. In conclusion, if you're excited by the idea of a Warband 2, with a few new mechanics and marginally to moderately better graphics, today's your lucky day. You're gonna love Bannerlord. But if you're like me, and you were hoping for something more, maybe hold off. Once the dust from the hype of the game's release has settled, we'll see what people have to say. I will of course continue to play the game as I am enjoying it, and if I find that I was wrong, I'll certainly follow up. Regardless, thank you very much for your time, and I genuinely hope I was able to help you make an informed decision as to whether or not Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord is worth a buy. Just... <laughs>